Hi, this is Richard C. I'm a math tutor here at Wise Ant answering a question. This is a classic uh, question from uh, pre-calculus. And we're just going to, you'll see this routinely. And when you see it for the first time, it can be a little confusing. But the angular velocity of the wheel, you want to know how many radians the wheel moves in one second. So it's really, that's all that's needed here. Uh, we're told that the wheel is spinning. The wheel has a radius of 14 centimeters and it's spinning one revolution in 10 seconds. And so each revolution is two pi radians. And so we, we want to set up, basically, it's just a unit conversion, and your target is going to be radians per second. And we're starting with radians. You have two pi radians. for one, res one revolution. And we just want to put in enough unit conversions so that we get radians over seconds. You can see we already have radians in the top, so that's a good start. And now we just need to figure out how many seconds there is in a revolution. And you can see that that's given up here. So we have 10 seconds. Oops, I have it upside down. One revolution every 10 seconds. And there we go. And now you can see that these are going to cancel. Let's change the color so the revolutions will go away and we're left with 2 pi over 10 at radians per second uh, maybe you'd want to write this as pi over 5 radians per second or maybe you'd want to convert that to decimal. It all depends on what the teacher wants. Let's convert that to decimal just to make everybody happy. So this would be 0.628 radians per second. Any of those are fine. OK, so we're going to go on now to the next unit conversion. Well, these are really nothing more than unit conversion problems, and you've seen those before. Okay, so let me go back to black, and then we'll go. At what linear velocity is the hamster running? Well, once again, we establish our target, which is centimeters per second. Okay. So linear velocity is the distance that the hamster is running around the wheel. So you can think of angular velocity as the change in the angle over some period of time. So that would be the angular velocity radians per second. The linear velocity is the distance traveled. So it's going to be this distance traveled over time. So you would start here and end here if you were the hamster spinning the wheel. OK, so once again, we have our target, centimeters per second. And we're told that uh, well, we need the length we know that they can move uh, 
we need to figure out, let's start off with uh, how big, how long is the circumference of the circle? So that's going to be um, radius is 14 centimeters. So it's going to be 14 centimeters. So one revolution here. Notice I'm putting revolution on the bottom because I want, I can see that I want centimeters on the top because my target has centimeters on the top. So it's just two pi r. So it's going to be two pi r, which is 28 pi centimeters per revolution. And um, so that's the distance. That's how we're getting the centimeters. Now we have to figure out, we have to get seconds down here. So once again, we're going to use one revolution. Every 10 seconds. And we get some nice canceling here. The revolutions cancel. And we left with uh, 2.8 pi. This is 28 pi over 10. So 2.8 pi, or if your teacher wants it in decimal, 2.8 times pi. Gives me eight point, roughly eight point eight centimeters per second. So every second, the angle. This is this is the starting point for the uh, hamster. This is the ending point for the hamster. Every second, that angle increases by pi over five radians, and every second. The hamster will have traveled if he's he's running from here to here along the circumference of the wheel he will have traveled uh, or she will have traveled 8.8 .8 centimeters okay so that's it so it's really just unit conversion um, what makes it difficult i think is more the question of just making sure you understand what they're asking and then just setting up your units. If you've had chemistry, um, you're, you must be pretty good at this by now. And um, that will help prepare you for all sorts of problems in math where you're doing, where what you're doing essentially is unit conversion. Okay, so that's it for this one. I hope this uh, lesson was helpful and I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.